Hey YouTube, this is James of Last Art Games. In our last video, we cleaned corrosion off the battery contact terminals for this Game Boy. In this video, we're going to mod it to make the Game Boy of my dreams. I've got a new shell and buttons, a backlight, a bivert mod, an audio amplifier, and a rechargeable battery pack. I picked up all these mods from handheldlegend.com except for the audio mod. I actually had to buy that from Retro6 directly on eBay because they were out of stock. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and disassemble the Game Boy, and we'll take out the front board so that we can add our backlight. With our front board out, I'm going to remove these two screws so we have better access to the back of the screen. I've got to be very careful with the back of this screen so I don't damage this ribbon cable. Now we have a few layers on the back of the screen that we actually have to peel off and remove. I'm going to take my X-Acto and try to slide it underneath these layers stuck onto the back of the screen so that I can peel them up. And now I'm just going to work to try to remove these layers. I actually spend a lot of time trying to pick off individual pieces of this silver reflective layer on the back. Well, just watch the countdown. Y'all, I'm an idiot. There's actually another layer underneath the silver reflective layer, so I didn't need to waste all this time picking off individual pieces of it. But this is my first time modding a Game Boy, so mistakes will be made. Let's go ahead and actually remove the final layer. With that off, we'll clean the glass underneath with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to remove any remaining residue. And now we've got a clean screen ready for backlighting. I'm going to go ahead and prep the backlight by adding a little bit of solder to the pads. Then we'll add our red and blue wires. With the wires attached, we can go ahead and remove the protective film from the backlight and install it behind the screen. This is our new polarizing film. It goes between the backlight and our screen, and without it, we wouldn't actually be able to see anything. And now let's attach our backlight to power. We're going to add the positive side to the left side of this capacitor, and the negative side to the right side of the capacitor. I've put everything back together, now let's give it a test. The backlight looks great, but the contrast is a little iffy. This is where the Bivert mod comes into play. Let's get started by removing the backboard from the shell. The Bivert mod works by inverting the pixels and surprisingly giving us a better contrast on the Game Boy screen. 
We're going to start by lifting up the 6th and 7th pins on this connection here. I'm going to try to do this with my soldering iron and pick tool, but the pick is too large, so I'm going to switch over to a craft knife. With those pins lifted, we can install the chip. I really like how this chip works. I'm going to take the pins I lifted and solder them to these two long pads. And then, with everything arranged in place, all I have to do is fill in these holes with solder to connect them to the points underneath. And finally, we'll connect this last pad to ground. With the bivert chip installed, you can actually see that the pixels are inverted. To correct this, all we have to do is turn our polarizing screen 90 degrees. With the backlight and bivert mod installed, it's time to work on our next mod. This is the Retro 6 Clean Audio Amplifier. The first thing we have to do is remove the old Game Boy speaker. This is as simple as using my desoldering pump to remove the old solder and just pull out the wires. With the old speaker removed, I can use a little double-sided tape to stick the chip to our board. With the chip in place, we can go ahead and solder all the connections. The pads on this chip are incredibly tiny and very fiddly, so it took a few tries to get my wires to stick down. I'm actually using 30 gauge wire here, and it still just feels too big for these pads. And of course the flux I use completely messes with the double sided tape and the chip just comes right off. We'll have to reattach it when we're completely done. I'm going to remove the old wires on the speaker and install some newer, longer ones. With everything soldered into place, it's time to give it a test. And just my luck, it doesn't work. With the screen off and the game on, I'm going to go ahead and rework my solder points. I suspect one of my joints is not as good as it should be. And like that, we have amplified sound. To be honest, it doesn't sound great. There's a, a crackle in the sound that you can't really hear on the audio of my recording for one reason or another. But in person, it's very clear and it sounds almost like the speaker's broken. But it is definitely louder. I just don't like the quality of the audio coming out of this. I'm going to rework my solder joints again to see if there's something going on with these points that's distorting the audio, but honestly I think it's just that the Game Boy and the Game Boy Music was never designed to be this loud. And even after reworking all my joints, the audio quality just never gets better. So I decided at this point just to go ahead and move on to the next thing, which we're actually going to install our Game Boy in a brand new shell. I picked up this orange shell with a blue glass screen lens, some blue buttons, and blue silicon pads. Because I have excellent taste. 
the installation was pretty straightforward. Let's please just ignore where I forgot to add the buttons the first time. However, I did have trouble again with this Retro 6 audio mod. The problem is the speaker is now attached to a different motherboard. So normally when installing the two halves together, you only have the ribbon cable going between them. But now you have these new speaker wires going between them as well. It just made the installation one step more difficult. I had a really difficult time just getting the speaker installed correctly. Once I finally get everything put together and installed, I, I just can't stand the sound of the speaker anymore. So I actually decided to take everything apart and replace the original Game Boy speaker with the speaker that came with the mod. The speaker sounds a little bit better, but again, the audio quality just doesn't sound right. Yeah, having a loud Game Boy seemed nice when I bought the original mod, but to be honest, I just I don't see how it's worth it. Being done with the audio mod, I decided to move on to the last thing that we're going to do, which is actually adding a rechargeable battery with USB-C rechargeable functionality. The installation instructions for this battery seemed like you could just pop it in, but to be honest, I, I had some trouble just popping it in because some of the springs actually got in the way. I tried a little bit to push the springs down so that I could maybe squeeze this battery pack in, but eventually I found it best just to take it apart again, remove the bottom set of battery contacts, and then install the battery. With those contacts removed, the installation was super easy. Just simply installing the battery, connecting it to the board, and then I actually purchased the pre-drilled new cover for the battery case. And then you just plug it in and it works. I actually really like this mod a lot. It's super simple and works really well. And this is it. This is my fully modded Game Boy. It includes a backlight, a bivert mod, a new shell with glass screen and new buttons and silicon pads, an audio amplifier, and a rechargeable battery. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this, but to be frank, and I'm sure you get this idea already, I don't like the audio mod. I don't think it's worth it. I think it makes the audio sound terrible. Now, to be fair, this is actually the 1.0 version of the audio mod. There is a new 1.1 version that's out. It might sound better. It might have solved some of the issues I have, but honestly, I don't like it. But everything else, love it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more.